Welcome to Singapore's 10th Supercharger Station, located at Basement 3 Car Park of Great World City Mall. This mall is slightly south of Orchard Road. This supercharger station, you may notice, has three stalls right behind me. This gives Singapore a total of 30 stalls across 10 locations throughout the island. Tesla has been rapidly expanding its supercharger network with more than 35,000 stalls worldwide. Many Tesla owners in Singapore ask, why can't our supercharger stations be straight like what we see in other countries? For this location specifically, you notice there's a pillar there blocking where the supercharger would be in the first lot. 12 months ago, there were zero Tesla superchargers in Singapore. Today, there are 30 supercharger stalls like this throughout the country. These are V3 superchargers, Tesla's latest technology charging at 250 kilowatts. These are the fastest public chargers you can find in Singapore and many countries in the world. In fact, it's hard to find public chargers even half of this speed. 250 kilowatts means you can charge your car from 20% state of charge to 80% state of charge within 15 minutes. This is really convenient because most of us don't have home EV charging. We live in public property HDB, which means that we come down here once every three to four days to top up our Tesla. If you're one of the many new Tesla owners in Singapore, congratulations. You may be wondering, how do I use a supercharger? It is really simple. All you need is a Tesla app on your phone and a credit card linked. These here work through gravity. Once you park in a supercharger lot, you lift this up to gravity and you click the circle button near your charge port to open up the charge port, you plug this in and wait. Because these are 250 kilowatt chargers, they charge really quickly. 15 to 30 minutes, you are done. That means you shouldn't be watching a movie. Your app will notify you when it's almost done and one more time when it's fully done. What you want to do is unplug it, press the circle button, push it back in, and if you still want to stay in the mall, just bring your car to another car park because this is not a car park. They are actually idle fees. There's five minutes of grace time once you're fully charged. And once you pass the grace time, it depends. If the supercharger station is empty, like today right now, there is no idle fee. If it's more than 50% full, in Singapore's case, we've got three lots. That means if two out of three are taken, we start paying an idle fee of 50 cents per minute. And if a station is fully booked, all three lots are taken with three cars, then the idle fee is $1 per minute. So you don't want to park here, always remember that. I see some Tesla owners, they're on the car, checking their emails, watching YouTube for a while while charging. And then they park somewhere else or leave when they're done. Singapore's EV adoption is growing rapidly from 0.3% in 2020 to 9% year to date in 2022. And Tesla is launching the popular Model Y SUV to start seeing them in Singapore's road starting next month. Because of that, demand for Tesla superchargers and public EV chargers in general is going to rise quickly. And Elon Musk has said he aims to double Tesla's supercharger network every year. We've got 10 supercharger stations here. I believe by the end of 2023, we will have at least 20 Tesla supercharger stations. When we look at the supercharger map in Singapore today, some owners say, the West looks a little bit empty. Can we build more supercharger stations there? Let me know down in the comments below, where would you like to see new supercharger stations? If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated when new Tesla superchargers like this launch in Singapore. Take care.